people struggle with fractions. That's one of the most common things I hear students say that they are not comfortable with. Well, sometimes with fractions, you can convert these to decimals, but be careful with the long decimals. So two thirds and something you want to go ahead and tell yourself right now, if you did not know this, to convert a fraction to a decimal, we just take the top number divided by the bottom number. So two divided by three, we get 0.6 repeated. And don't worry about that seven on the end. The calculator is just rounding. But what I'm going to do here is I'm not just going to write 0.6. I'm going to write a bunch of them down. This is what I mean by being careful. And let's repeat the process for 5 divided by 8 or 5 eighths. Now, this is going to be a nice decimal, and we get 0.625. Now, some of y'all may be doing this entirely different. Some of y'all may be saying, okay, I'm trying to find the sum so you know that you want to add these together together. And maybe you're saying, okay, I know how to get common denominators, but some of us don't. And that's the point I want to get across here, a way that we can take advantage of these multiple choice answers. So this decimal right here, I'm going to actually type that in. I mean, I'm just going to type in a bunch of sixes. It don't matter how many, just put a bunch of them up there. And since we want to find the sum, I'm going to add on the 0.625, which is that five eighths. And this is where you have to be careful, folks. That decimal right there, we want to find the fraction that is the closest to it. The closest to it. And see, some of y'all might be thinking, okay, 1.3. Well, let's be careful. 13 over 10. If I take 13 divided by 10, that gives me 1.3. But this is not 1.3. It's close. I admit that. So let's see if we can get a little bit closer. 131 divided by 100. That's 1.31. Okay, I don't want to mess with that. Let's try 6 divided by 5. That's 1.2. So right now you're thinking it's still going to be 13 over 10, but check this one out. Check out this last one. 31 divided by 24. That is pretty doggone close. I mean, the only thing here on my calculator is I don't have the 7 on the end. So yes, you can take these ugly decimals, these long decimals, and you can use them and you don't have to use them when you're just adding things or subtracting things or multiplying or dividing. You can even, if you practice enough, I don't really recommend it, but I have seen people use them in solving equations. I really don't recommend that, but yes, we can take fractions and convert those to decimals.